We are a little less than three months from that total solar eclipse over central Texas. Already we're seeing hotel rooms <laughs> across the hill country. They are booking up, but they are not the only way to see the eclipse. KXAN's Eric Henriksen, our senior science reporter, has some of the alternatives that people are looking at. Yeah, people appear to want to like camp out. Okay. I'm surprised, right? That's according to rental company RV Share. They told us they're seeing a, get this, 2,000 percent increase in RV rentals compared to this time last year. They're seeing even more rentals than during the Memorial Day weekend. With many campgrounds across the hill country, this trend could have a big impact on some small towns. Millions of people potentially traveling across the state, all in hopes of seeing a total solar eclipse on April 8th. I mean, we've never had, you know, 100,000 people in our town, but we'd love to have as many as we can take. Marvin Willis lives in Ingram, Texas, a small town just west of Kerrville. It's gonna be hard to travel from one side of the town to the other. Like many hill country towns, Ingram will host a four-day eclipse festival, providing a spot for campers and RVs to park ahead of the event. I didn't really start promoting it uh, online until about a week ago, and so far I have 77 uh, people that are coming to the event. It's definitely ramping up as we get closer to the actual eclipse. Maddie Bourgeret with RV Share says the eclipse is drawing more attention than even Memorial Day, typically the biggest day for RV rentals. So RV rentals are up 725% compared to Memorial Day weekend. This rental surge is occurring along the eclipse path with the greatest interest in Texas, especially in Austin and San Antonio. I think a lot of people are interested in watching the eclipse from the beautiful like hill country. If you're planning to rent an RV to view the eclipse, Bourgeret recommends not waiting. The things that are closest to that path will be sold out. For Ingram, these travelers will benefit the very roads they're driving in on. Proceeds from the festival are going to street repair. We're a small city, we can use it. I mean, they hit two potholes on the way home today. So Ingram is just a little west of Kerrville. They have, and I think this is kind of the perfect location to see the eclipse, yes. Stonehenge 2. Oh. Really? So it's a duplicate, the a replica of Stonehenge. <laughs> it's yes. The second, you know how there are multiple? Yes. But this is a replica, it's just a, like a five minute walk from that campground where the nice. RVs will be hosted. In Ingram. In Ingram. Nice. They also are on the Guadalupe River and they have a oh. coffee shop. Okay, so I mean that's all you <laughs> need if you're going to be camping. Some water, coffee. Camping. Coffee, Stonehenge, perfect. <laughs> Damn.